Hi guys, Aaron Dorr here with Iowa Gun Owners, giving you guys a weekend recap on the fight for constitutional carry right now in the Capitol here in Des Moines. We have some good news and we have some bad news to report, as is oftentimes the case with confrontational politics. First, the good news. Constitutional carry is moving in the Senate chamber. We have 10 to 12 co-sponsors on this bill already. I don't have a complete list because Senator Zahn has been out of town this week on a work engagement, so I haven't seen the physical bill myself, but I know for a fact that senators like Senator Chapman, uh, Senator Feenstra, Senator Whiting, Senator Schultz, um, and, and many others have already added their name as co-sponsors. We've also talked to you in person or uh, via notes in the, using the, the notes they have upstairs here. We've talked with Senators Garrett, Brown, Sweeney, Johnson, uh, Carlin, Dawson, Shipley, Nunn, and Edler, and Kreienbrink. All these guys, we've approached them and asked them to co-sponsor this bill. We hope to have more names for you on this shortly, but for right now we have 10 to 12 co-sponsors on constitutional carry. If you haven't heard your senator's name listed as a co-sponsor, the ones we can verify, that's Chapman, Schultz, Feenstra, and Whiting, then you have to keep pouring on pressure. I can tell you right now, everybody down here is hearing from IGO members. Everybody's referring to how many emails they have in their inbox. Everybody's referring to how many phone calls they're getting on this. So your pressure, your calls and your emails, most especially your emails, are crucial to helping us maintain the pressure on this bill. You know, it's amazing to me when I talk to lawmakers and they say, well, you know, what does constitutional carry mean again? Like, what are we actually talking about? Because we have this bill right here. It's a nine page bill. And what's amazing is that it's all but like three or four paragraphs, just conforming language, which means we only have one paragraph. That is the heart and soul of constitutional carry. And it's such a simple idea. It just simply says, I'm going to read it for you right here in case you're curious. The availability of a professional or non-professional permit to carry weapons under this chapter shall not be construed as to impose a general prohibition on the unlicensed carrying, whether openly or concealed, of a deadly weapon, including a loaded firearm. And so it's a very straightforward idea. If you want a permit, you can get a permit. Totally fine. If you don't want a permit, if you don't want to pay fees to the government or add your name to a government database, guess what? You wouldn't have to. It's just that simple. And in fact, 13 states have this law on the books right now. And just last week, just last week on Tuesday, it passed in the state Senate chamber in nearby South Dakota. So this bill is sweeping the nation and has a lot of support right now in the Senate. However, in the House, it's a different story. In the House, it's a different story. We have a great bill sponsor in Representative Jeff Shipley. He's doing a great job, committed gun owner, uh, very much enjoys uh, the fight for the Second Amendment and trying to advance Second Amendment freedom. And he's doing a great job advancing this bill. However, we have a problem right now with House leadership who is trying to hold back caucus members from co-sponsoring this crucial legislation. We've talked to numerous of them this week, tons of House members, um, goodness, I mean, there's probably a dozen or more, uh, maybe 20 or more, either in person or via notes and phone calls and texts and whatnot. And what I keep hearing over and over and over is there's tremendous support for this bill amongst the rank and file members of the Iowa House. However, Iowa House leadership, specifically Matt Winchell, is working overtime, working overtime to browbeat lawmakers into not, not co-sponsoring constitutional carry. I couldn't believe it. So I asked Matt Winchell myself this week in the Iowa House, what are you doing this for? Why are you impeding constitutional carry? And he won't give me a straight answer. I asked him straight up, you know, will you, you co-sponsor this bill? No. Will you help advance this bill in the caucus? No. In fact, what he's telling me is that if he has his way, they're not going to move constitutional carry for years, for years. Absolutely, absolutely despicable. Now, when he talked to Matt Winchell, he's gonna say he's a strong supporter of gun rights. He's going to say how it's a function of timing. We have to have better optics, better timing down here in Des Moines. You know, he told me that myself this week in the Capitol. And what made me, I, I laughed out loud. And I said, you know, Matt, Matt, you told gun owners you couldn't pass constitutional carry or even try to get votes on it way back in the day in 2009 and 10 because we had to have a pro-gun governor. 
gun owners did their job, kicked out Governor Culver, put in Governor Branstad, and flipped the Iowa House in 2010. And then you told us for years, we can't pass constitutional carry through the House until we have a pro-gun Senate. And then gun owners went to work in 2016, kicked out six of six anti-gun senators and flipped the Iowa Senate. And so now we have a Republican trifecta here in Des Moines. What more, what more can gun owners possibly do? So this is absurd. These excuses are absurd. The idea that they, that they, they want to stall for years to work on a constitutional amendment is absurd because again, folks, 13 states, 13 state legislatures have already passed this bill. It's about to pass in South Dakota. It's already law in our neighboring state of Missouri. It's time Iowa do the same thing. So our co-sponsor window on this bill is gonna close very shortly. So if you haven't yet talked to your lawmakers, if you haven't yet fired off your emails, in fact, even if you already have, it's important you do so again right away. Again, your house rep has not co-sponsored this bill. And only, a, and only 10 to 12 state senators have co-sponsored this bill. So below this video, you're gonna find a link to your lawmakers urging them to stand up, fight for gun owners, and co-sponsor constitutional carry. Please take a moment and sign it. It takes a matter of seconds. You type in your address and hit send message, and it goes right to your lawmakers here in Des Moines. Doesn't matter if you don't know what his email address is or what her name is. It's automatic, it goes immediately. So guys, take that action right away. You know, as I just kind of relayed to you guys, gun owners fought tooth and nail to expose and to kick out anti-gun lawmakers in this chamber for years. Gun owners have done their job in spades to secure a pro-gun majority down here in Des Moines. For these lawmakers to sit here now, after gun owners have done all this work for all of these years, and to refuse to even co-sponsor constitutional carry, much less fight for it, is absolutely indefensible, guys. So hold them accountable, fire off your emails, and guys, you know, push hard. They're gonna respond back in a variety of ways. They may say, I support Second Amendment. O okay, co-sponsor the bill. They might say, I wanna work on the constitutional amendment. That's a separate video. We're gonna have more information on that shortly, but I would say, okay, well, the constitutional amendment has never stopped gun control before at the state level. It's not going to here in Iowa, uh, but either way, we can do both and at the same time. We can advance constitutional carry while we advance this amendment if that's what they want to do. Either way, there's no reason, no excuse why your lawmakers, the ones who campaigned as being pro-gun, can't co-sponsor this bill. So guys, thank you so much for your calls and emails so far. They've made all the difference here in Des Moines in our co-sponsor push in the Senate chamber. Keep the pressure up, keep it up. We have a couple more days in this co-sponsor push and that's it. So fire off your emails, guys. If you haven't yet joined IGO, hit the links below here or visit joinigo.com and share this video with your friends. Thank you.